We are back again. Hey, this is two in a row, Chris. Episode number two. Where are we at? So that's going to make us 22, 23. This will be 24. 24. Episode 24. Yes. <clears throat> and today is an extra special day for Chris. Special guest. The boy rolled in last night. Yep. Luke um, is here. Called me like he was still in California. Played a joke <clears throat> on you. Yeah. And then rolls up. And, uh, Wonder where he learned that. Probably from you, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of his bad habits probably come from me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, he's been gone for how long? Seven months. Seven months. So he was craving he was craving the woods real, yeah. real, 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 real bad. I appreciate so it out here, huh? He decided yeah. to roll up um, the night before opener, bow opener. So uh-huh. Uh-huh. You had to take him all around. And, and we took a tour of the property, the yeah. Stuff. We New talked stands. about that on the last mm-hmm. podcast mm-hmm. and how thick it was and all the rubs and all mm-hmm. that stuff. So uh, yep. now he's got to just lay eyes on the deer even driving down the road, probably make it feel a lot better. Oh, yeah. Last mm-hmm. night uh, when I took the four-wheeler out, yeah. I almost hit a doe. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah there's, there's your sign. Yeah, yeah. There's your sign. There's, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Welcome he, back. He yep. fed it all in last night. I was like, can I ride the, can I ride my four wheeler? I just put a new battery in, pressure wash. I told you I got, got all that stuff going. So I yeah. thought we may need it for a drag, which we ended up not using it. But, um, yeah, he goes ripping around on that thing, comes to the house, starts doing donuts and bopping wheelies. And so, yeah. See, I tried to steal that thing. So you're lucky. Was yeah. Like, it was there. I was yeah. like, dude, he's got it fixed. I want it. Please. Yeah. Yeah. That's mine's, pretty fun. Mine's down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said yours didn't like the coal packer. It just said, Yo, uh, no, I, no, thank you. It blew up an engine. So <clears throat> yeah. Luke did it. I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> My Luke, not your Luke. Yeah. Go, go <laughs> figure, right? Yeah. So where you been, man? What have you been doing? Uh, I'm just enjoying life right now in old uh, Sunnyside, California. California. Yeah. California. You mean people go there on purpose? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a tourist town for sure. Yeah, I would, like, why the heck would y'all take a <clears throat> vacation over to California? Yeah, right. Cold water. Well, I, I can tell you, I took a vacation in California and I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> well, yeah. We were stayed up in La Jolla for what eight days or something like yeah. that. House on the water. It was <clears throat> water. Water is cold. Um, I still got scars on my legs because the waves there are no joke. You want a body surf over there? You better know what you're doing. Yeah. I thought I ran over a kid. Well, it ended up being rocks. So, like oh, I came geez. out and it's like blood running all down my leg, down my elbow, and like I'm packing it with sand and like <laughs> the. The military guys uh, are supposed to be there to save people. They're they're out, you know, doing their own things. Like, thanks a lot. I almost bled out on the beach guys, while y'all were <laughs> while y'all were gallivanting. The beaches over there are they're not like Florida beaches. They're rocky and they're very short. So. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> and the waves, are no joke, on average, are probably what six. Yeah. Yeah. Six, seven feet. And, and especially really, yeah. where we were at. It's so you like, could legit surf there. Yeah. Oh no, yo, was, there's like thirty. That's what we did in the mornings. I get up, make coffee, and watch the surfers. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> In that particular spot we were at, it was even known as a has a big drop off in there or something. So it's a very popular surfing spot nah. right in that little area we were at. So, well, you know, I did the body surfing thing when we went to Florida. Yeah, and they were like three footers, and they were hurting me, so I can't even do. Yeah, it's, this one. Well, matter of fact, you the very first time I was like, I'm gonna get out in the water, and the water was what was it sixty something over there, sixty seven, <laughs> which I think you know that's. The Pacific, I guess, yeah. kinda, which I grew up in California, but I don't really remember the water being. I knew what the beaches would look like, <clears throat> the rocks and the cliffs, which is really cool. I mean, we, yeah. we tucked back in a little cove. We took some pictures up on this big, giant boulder. Like, it sets up a lot different than Florida does, but the water temperature is cold. And <clears throat> so I went out, and the waves were not too, too bad, and started walking back. I mean, one hit went over my head and, like, <laughs> rolled me over, like, the very first day. I'm like, hmm, interesting. It's a little different here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. In wintertime, they'll get to like 15 foot. Oh, wow. Yeah. People Jeez. surf those too, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, I can imagine. Well, I'm sur- I'm assuming these guys have some sort of forecast deal because there, yeah. there'll be mornings where there'll be like six dudes out there and the waves would be, you know, three, four foot tall. And there'll be mornings where there's like <clears throat> 25 dudes out yeah. there. And it's like, and how, I don't know how, I want to know how they communicate because it's like only one dude catches a wave and there's, they're all just kind of waiting in line. Like, wow. He surfed some while he was out there. That's a local um, surfing spot. I talked to one of the guys back at base, and he was like, oh, you surf there? I'm like, yeah, I tried. He's like, yeah, you don't want to do that. They'll they'll get pretty angry over over amateurs getting in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I read all about that spot where that hut was. It's actually like a California, like, national monument. It's right outside of our window was this, like, grass hut. And it was built in... 1940 something or whatever by this surfing community and it was kind of like a gang 
So they made sure nobody surfed where they wanted to. They had like these it's luaus there, so. there. They kept the beach clean and picked up. Nobody could be out there, you know, being acting a fool. Like wow, it was a whole surf deal. So it's <clears> serious. <throat> it's like anything else, huh? You get you get a, a surf like a needs, game. Yeah. No joke, but I mean, yeah. to be fair, as cool as some of them were that we met up there. They ain't never mess with no country boys. If we want to surf there, we're going to surf there. Yeah, right. <laughs> you ain't scared of us. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. <clears throat> but, you know, there's some, there's some gnarly, gnarly dudes up there that are just leathered yeah. skin. Been out you know, there the neck whole time. Neck tattoos, flat bill hats, been surfing since the 60s, and they they just park their trucks, and they have, like, a tent, but they have, like, grills out there. They surf and they wake up the next morning, look out the windows, like they're still there, like they sleep there. Yeah. Like they're not moving. They just survive <laughs> off bush and cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty That's, much. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. But Different. there's uh, that one dude that I talk to every night. Is like I sat down and talk to him, and uh, <clears throat> he leaned more right than left, and he was, you know, lived in California his whole life. But uh, the last night, I was like, I'll see you in the morning. It's like, man, this is our last night. He's like, what? And he was like, all upset about it, you know, like we kind of became friends there for a minute. Yeah. You, I think you do that about everywhere you go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you bring home a dude from what was it, Scotland or somewhere? It's, uh, like, Ireland, yeah. Ireland, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Total stranger. Yeah, he, he likes a lot of our content too still. And he's That's like, awesome. Yeah, he's he's a good dude. But yeah, You're I'm, better than me. I don't talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I went to Vegas yeah. and I'm just like, these people are crazy. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, now Vegas is a little crazy. <laughs> it's I crazy. I didn't make no friends over there for sure. Yeah, we did our <clears throat> we did our five or six days, and that yeah. was enough. I was ready. Yeah, to come we, were, home. we were only there for four, three, four, something like that. Yeah, which we went the whole time just seeing yeah. stuff. Like I said, I'm not a gambler, but we gambled like the last hour of the last night we were there, and that was it. I had uh, <clears throat> I gambled fifty five dollars my whole stay. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Now my wife and I you know, can't say that. But. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I'm a little, little, little more than little more than double fives. I tell them all the time, <clears throat> I'm in business for myself. Yeah, that's a gamble. Yeah, yeah. There's my gamble. Yeah, yeah. you know. Every many I'm... years ago, when I said <laughs> I quit, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah, I've been, I've been rolling the dice yeah. ever since. <laughs> There's your gamble. They call me the gambler. That's right. That's right. So, was you glad to get back, man? Dude, I mean, it was overwhelming. I can Just imagine. Like, I flew in from Dallas. Uh, sorry, from San Diego to Dallas, and then Dallas to Little Rock. And as soon as I saw like just trees, I'm like, gosh, it feels yeah. so good to be back. And the, and the people that fly in from Dallas to Little Rock, you're like, yeah, I think I'm going yeah. to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see the change in the yeah. genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was telling sure. me a story the other day. He was like, dude, I just rear ended somebody. Oh, I was yeah. like, what? I was like, yeah, light turned green. I went, she didn't rear end her. <clears throat> she got out. Shaking and trembling, <laughs> didn't know what was going on. I was like, eh, that's California people for you. Like, yeah. They get they get they get ruffled up pretty easy over there. Like <laughs> you hit some dude here, is like, Oh man, what'd you do that for? Like oh, yeah. it wouldn't be a big yeah. deal, but she was Here's about my to car. have a nervous <laughs> breakdown over there. <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah. I don't know how I'd fit. Oof. Man, where we stayed, it was it was actually pretty nice. How was it? Yeah. Now I think if you go in like LA and areas like that, it probably gets pretty sketch. But yeah, I'd uh, stay away from all that. <clears throat> where yeah. we where we were at, it was like even like the little shopping area was good, little coffee spots, all the beaches were really nice and maintained and <clears throat> sweet. Yeah. I think the place that I'm staying right now is actually the safest place in America. Is really? What they say. Yeah. So that's like Greenwood, Arkansas, huh? Yeah. Well, it's, it's also a military base. So yeah. It'd be but it's like yeah. So the place I'm living is just like a bunch of retired military people. And yeah, yeah. Nice. Nobody's messing with them. You got a, you got a bunch them. of guys like going to get coffee with M4s and stuff. Like, hey, y'all do. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You see the see the tattoos and you know where they're where they're coming from oh, where yeah. they've been. Like ain't nobody messing with me. Oh yeah, the tattoos mean a little different. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah, yeah they, they do. They you actually say, mean something. Oh yeah. Yeah. No question. Yeah. yeah that's, stay away from those people. Yeah. Right. They mm-hmm. got. They got a history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't talk to them. Don't look them in the eye. Yeah. It's kind of like a big buck. Don't look them in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a whole conversation we we started. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. The deer can see your eyes. Mm. If they see your eyes, they're gone. So yeah. Yeah. Don't look them in the eye. Don't look them in the eye. But yeah, I'm excited to <clears> just be back. I'm trying to see everybody and take it all in, but. <clears throat> Once I see everybody, I'm going to kind of settle back in, try to get some uh, teal hunting going on the river, maybe shoot some shotguns a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody back. else was asking me about that when I text. Oh, it was Joe. I texted him telling him telling, uh, telling him you were in. He's like, you going to try to get some teal hunting in? I was like, well, I'm sure probably will. Yeah, yeah I'm mm-hmm. pretty bloodthirsty. Yeah. yeah, I bet. I bet. 
Well, the one time a year that I uh, actually don't have a pig problem. <clears throat> Otherwise, right? I'm set up now with the blackout and the night vision and all that stuff. It's like. Well, see, they started telling <clears throat> each other what you had. Yeah. They quit showing up. Stay away from there. I got, I got one. Out. He's super sporadic. I mean, it's yeah. like maybe once a week. See, I've morning. had one total, dude. <clears throat> not here. Really? It's even, it's, it's a dad spot. One, yeah. one pig. I'm not complaining, but I'd like to get him on. I'd like for him to kill something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Obviously, it'd be yeah. kind of cool to. You could get the bow out, man. I, I know. I could harpoon one. I think I outgrew that bow by about six years. <laughs> yeah, he could shoot mine, no problem, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm 31. That's probably about where you're at. Yeah. And I'm a lot stronger than you are, so I could probably. Oh, that's true. And your, <laughs> and your, and your <laughs> joints are a lot yeah, way better. Yeah, he's got a blown shoulder. I'm struggling to yeah. get mine drawn back. That's what happens like, when you start breaking down and you get a little older. And, Oof, I'm telling you. Mm, hey, I'm right behind you, man. I ain't saying nothing over here. Yeah, I hit the big four seven, and it's like my shoulder like doesn't work right now. Mm -hmm. Can't work out. Like, jeez, I've been that way for like a month and a half, and I don't even. There was not even like a. You did like it in your sleep, didn't you? Kinda, yeah, I just kind of woke <laughs> up like, oh my, oh my gosh, I just <laughs> tore my rotator cuff sleeping. I'm like, I think it's probably kicking the dog. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I broke my toe. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm just still getting over that thing, dude. That's no joke. You break your don't big kick toe. The dog, dude. Oof. God. Uh, well, I was I was actually a mock kick, but I hit the door. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah. do it. And he's losing it. athleticism. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing everything. No question. I just helped carry some stuff up the furniture, and I was like, <sighs> Yeah, <sighs> give me a minute. Going, give me a minute. Why'd you build stairs in this yeah. house? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's an unfortunate part. You're not suffering with that yet. It's coming, no. bro. No, it's yeah. coming. I'm taking it all in, I guess. Yeah, no. Yeah, you uh, need to. My, actually, I didn't really have any problems at all well, other than my back, I guess. But, I mean, gosh, until probably right around the 50 mark. Yeah. I didn't really have any issues at all. I was like, man, my, my back's blown out. I can't feel my foot. And I got nerve pinching. My spine's broke down. And my shoulder yeah. hurts. And That's me. I mean, I, my <clears> first injury, injury <throat> from working out was the old – Golfer's elbow. Oh, I had doing that. chins. Yeah, yeah, dude, I couldn't get over it for like three years. Yeah. Oh, he was with me when I got a shot. I was like, the doctor oh. said well, you have to have surgery on that. It's like imagine like a rope as big as your pinky. Oh, yeah. And all the twines are frayed except for one. That's what you got mm. holding that together. And then we go to the gym next morning. It's like, Dad, you be doing girls? Like, yeah, let's. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. it. Let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, got, I got something weird going on with my pinky. Like <clears throat> when I swim too long, it like starts to cramp up, and like it won't come unlocked. So I'll be swimming like. Let's do that cramp. Yeah, maybe, I don't know what's going maybe on. Maybe good. Yeah. yeah. Make you faster. Yeah. yeah. Get an extra stroke in there. Whatever. Yeah. So this guy's he's he's doing like night swims out in the ocean and crazy Oof. stuff like in that. In the cold water, huh? Yeah. It's cold. Dude, it's cold. Bad. Like you have to, as soon as you get in, it's like an all out kick fest. Just to yeah. try to get your breath. You're like, <clears throat> Yeah, oh, I, can't <laughs> I can't imagine, dude. Well, and how far are you going? Like two miles? Yeah, we usually something? go two miles. Yeah. But uh, the coolest part is they have little sea lines there in the cove that we uh, jump in, and they'll like blow bubbles in your face and get like right up in your grill. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, that's cool. So, yeah. you're, so you're in nature, man? So yeah, that's, yeah. that's where I have to go. I'm like, at least once a week, I got to get out there. <clears throat> yeah, I bet. Are you I sure bet. that's not a mermaid? <laughs> Could be, could be. Know. There's plenty of mermaids laying up on that beach. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's another story, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's another story. Merma mermaids, mermans. <laughs> yeah, we, saw, we saw we saw all kinds of stuff over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Again, yeah. that's California, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> California's got everything you. You can imagine. Yeah, it's yeah. too much. <clears throat> Yeah, it's well, probably Austin was that way when I went to Austin for my back procedure deals. Like all kinds of happenings. We had a. We had a waiter with a dress and a beard on, like no joke. The very first restaurant I went to to get breakfast, I'm like, "What's up? <laughs> What's going on here, sir, ma'am? What's yeah. happening? Like, I didn't know what to think." Yeah, like, yeah. You but Austin's kind of known for that. You, you didn't get, know the pronouns. Yeah. I don't use the pronouns. You yeah. are what you are. My eyes take it or leave it. But <laughs> at birth, yeah. But what you are at birth, yeah. We got off the airplane in Dallas, and it was like. Uh, was it? They have a saying like "keep Dallas gay" or, or something like no, that. No, keep Austin kooky or crazy or something <laughs> like that. As you get there, I'm like, okay, mm, here we okay. are. Which mm. I kind of read that, like, yeah. Which we, you know, wasn't a problem. Whatever. I mean, do yeah, do yeah. what you want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. We're not here to hurt you. Yeah, no. Don't mess with me though. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's how that goes. Yeah. Don't push your yeah. agenda on mm -hmm. me. I won't push mine on you. I ain't got no problem <clears> with you. Just stay away. You don't want me to start. You don't <laughs> want me to start talking. I can promise you. <laughs> you know, me and my buddy Jones. Yeah. He's, he's part of my little group we got, and uh, we like to go to Starbucks every now and then. Yeah. And there's a guy who has a polo. He opens his shirt up. Got a nice, oh, yeah. nice heart with a little rainbow on it. And yeah. Like. 
you know, the uh, Impractical Jokers mustache guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, chest hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chest hair. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Like, what is that? Is that a heart yeah. in there? Like, what do you got buried in that chest hair, bro? Well, you know, that's the thing, dude. It's like when we went to Vegas, you realize how protected in this culture we are. Oh, man. Golly, yeah. it's just crazy. We were, we were kind of talking about that a little bit last night with – uh, we watched, we sat outside on the <clears throat> pool deck and had the TV on watching Greenwood football, you know, and it's like, <clears throat> everybody kind of knows everybody. I'm texting one of the sideline guys like, hey, we're watching the game. Luke made it in. It gets announced over the air and it's like the little s- smallish town stuff, sure. you know, you know, people to, it's pretty cool. And yeah, you're, you're right. It's definitely like different world out there. Yeah, man. yeah for people, sure. People don't realize <clears throat> it's, I mean, how much the woods like just grounds you. And it's your oh. roots, like, especially when you grow up in it. Imagine. And then you take that yeah. out, it's like, boy, this is this is pretty rough. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It's I'd be like, lost. We talked yeah. about it last night. You talked about kind of like it was his, <clears throat> kind of like his safe place. He comes yeah. in sure. and like everything calms down. It's like, well, I never really take it for granted, but I mean, I know a lot of people, I mean, and thank goodness they do, that live in neighborhoods and cul-de-sacs and get along with their neighbors great. And that's their mm-hmm. lifestyle, which is awesome. But for me... I would go insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why, I mean, 99% of the time I'm in the pool or working out or something, you know, I have to stay busy or else I just, just kind of lose, lose myself. I quite literally just go outside and I'll walk in the grass. It's yeah. that bad. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Something green. Yep. Mm, that's crazy, man. Well, yep. and you know how my driveway is. You start at the highway and drive three quarters of a mile back in there and he's like, that was the best drive ever yeah. coming up that dirt exactly. road. Like, yeah. like you, come, you come off the hill. We came from like... Fort Smith, you know, and you come yeah. down the hill, 45, and then you see the Sugarloaf Mountain. And you're yeah. like, boy, it's been I'm a long home. time. It's I'm been home. a long time. Yeah. Feels nice. The air feels clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had we had some family come in, um, some of Christie's family yeah. in their city, city folk. Oh, yeah. And they were like, oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. just like, yeah, you're right. It yeah, is. No, I take it for granted, you know. See, I really don't, man. Like, when, yeah. I, when I'm going well, to the house and your I Your view it, is like looking yeah, at the mountain. Yeah, I'm like, I love it, man. It's yeah, like, it's mm-hmm. awesome. It's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good deal. And it's like, I made a little video the other day about, you know, kind of buying dirt thing and kind of told a little bit of the story about buying that property when I was like 18, like two acres in a trailer house and then bought this, 10 acres, 12. You know, now I got what I got. It's like, right. <clears throat> people talk about how expensive land is, but... What's it going to be in 10 years? Yeah, I mean, right. If you can afford it, buy you a chunk. You yeah, know? no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Buy dirt. Yeah, exactly. Man. Yeah. We were just talking, we were having that conversation, me and Christy, you know, <clears throat> we're, our kids are gone pretty much. I mean, yeah. Lexi's still here, but she'll be gone in a few years. Yeah. And we got this big house, empty nesters kind of deal. And it's yeah. like, do we want to downsize and like, you know, move and sell our, and stay in the country, obviously. Right, but, yeah. It's like, I don't know if I can ever do it. Nah. Yeah. It's like, I walk out to my plot in the back or my plot in yeah. the front and I just yeah. walk, you know, yeah, kind of like exactly. what you were talking about. I love it, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. It'd be yeah. hard. It'd be hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm not selling my place anytime soon. Now, hopefully I can buy yeah. like an Iowa ranch or something if one of my investments hit, but I'll, I'll keep my, keep my old one. Yeah. Well, Iowa ranch would be pretty <clears throat> solid, brother, if you can pull that off. Yeah, wouldn't that be I'd, something? I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I just talk my wife into it because she'd probably want me more like the let's get a house on the beach. And mm. What about Iowa? You like yeah. Iowa? Yeah. Iowa. Have you seen nope. Iowa? Have you ran a combine before? Yeah. yeah. You like corn stalks because it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Combines are cool. Yeah. You're going to love the dirt over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the dirt is so rich. You're going to love it. You know, yeah. that's where everybody goes to when you see somebody that's like made some money and done something. It's like buying an Iowa farm. Yeah, no doubt. Dude. So I'm kind of surprised. Like that, at least we had with the juries. Like they were on the border. I guess maybe the lamb's quite a bit cheaper. Like I'm sure they probably have one in Iowa too. Who knows? But oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, we were next door neighbors to them there for a few years. Oh yeah, at least yeah. You found over there. I would love to get that back. Bro. <clears throat> right. I, you know, did I tell you I called on that? I called on that trying to get it back from that guy, and he's like, he lost it. Mm. Oh really? Yeah, and that the landowner doesn't allow hunting on it anymore. Ooh, yes, yeah, so something went south for somebody. Man, let's wait like five years and try to try to knock on that again. And see yeah, what happens. can yeah. you imagine? <clears throat> well, yeah. I talked to the grandson the last time, and he was like, he had the other place, that wide yeah. open place that we looked at, and he said some guy from Texas had that and was probably never going to give it up. So yeah, I guess he had to. Well, that's got to be one of your highlight hunts, man. Oh, the Missouri runs we would make. <laughs> it's, it's the highlight. That hunt. was some stuff, 100%. dude. That was a well earned buck. Yeah, sure. Yes, it was. That was. Yeah. The, we were talking about that the other day. It's like 
how cool was that? We were on a property <clears throat> next to y'all. Yeah. And it goes down and me and Luke show up and it's like, let's drag this thing yeah. out of here. Yeah. It was work. It was awesome, dude. Yeah. What, was, that, so cool. what was that? I can't remember. I got a picture on my phone somewhere. It was close to 300 pound deer, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was big, dude. Yeah. yeah. It was big. I remember it, putting the shot. Well, I remember it coming in and oh, yeah. you're like. Oh, it walked yeah, up behind yeah, us. Well, like, I was set, I was hunting the back side of the tree, you yeah. know, I was sitting in the back side of the tree and there was a fork in it. And so I could just whisper down to him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I hear like a limb crack. I turn around. It's like, he's standing right here. And it's like, mm-hmm. big buck right behind us. Do not move. And all of a sudden, pink, safety comes <laughs> off the gun. And the deer's like, oh, I'm out of here. Something but he didn't right bust so. us. We had a pretty good cover. We were in the fork of that tree. And yeah. then he walks back around through that field. Yeah. And give him the little mat. There was one yeah, opening. Man, man. Yeah. There was one little opening. I'm talking, <clears throat> when I say one little opening, I'm talking probably 20 inch little circle. And it's like when he gets in that hole, I'm going to stop him. Man, <laughs> like that yeah. fast. Like, dude, were you on it? <laughs> yeah. Like that was way too fast. Like, yeah. like yeah, dude, I, I had yeah. it on him. I felt bad because I got up and, you know, started looking. It's like, and then more deer know, showed up. Man. Yeah, more deer showed up. Mm-hmm. And they were in the field chasing, like, hey, text him, like, grab a grab a gut tube. There's another buck in the field chasing a doe. Like, yeah, this is one of those days when it, it was just it was just one of those days. Well, you hope for you pre- you preface that with how old were you? Ten? No, no, no. Uh, uh, maybe like twelve. Ten, twelve, something yeah. like that. I don't remember, but it's like he was a small guy. I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> you remember like you know two stands, and we so we got there. So we had three hunts. That's all we. That's all we had. Mm-hmm. So we hung a set that night. Like I don't know, probably midnight. <clears throat> hung a set for that wind that night, go back, get some sleep, hunt that that morning. The wind is going to change. So we had to move to the other side of the property, tore everything down, <clears throat> moved, moved again, mm-hmm. had that evening hunt. And then the next morning was our last hunt. And I was like, we got to move again. The wind is changing. So we moved to that tree. And that's uh, when it all happened. That's when yeah. it all happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there. So we moved three times and you know how the creeks are over there. We yeah. were both like rolling because as we were moving, like I was waist deep, <laughs> face planted with all this gear on my back, backpacks Hilarious. and stands and everything else. And like, yeah, we talk about that a lot. You want it in Missouri? I mean, yeah, you're gonna, I mean, yeah, I was telling you're him, not was driving like, to your stand there, but do, no. do as I say, not as I do because I'm 25 foot up, tearing down all the stuff down, no, no safety vest, no yeah. nothing, just like take it out. We gotta go, we gotta go move over here. Like, don't ever do this. Yeah, I remember going to you guys to help you. With yeah. the deer, and I hopped off in that dry creek bed, yeah, and went to my hip. It's quicksand, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's like, straight, oh. Up, straight up, straight up quicksand. What, thank God for Luke because that dude can sniff out some blood, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, we yeah. have to be a part of that. You remember yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. have to be a part of that. that was, yeah, that, we, we that was had cool. about we had about given up on it. And he yeah. spotted like a couple little specks, and that's when we swore off the two forty three. Yeah, like, no yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. So I what? sold Christie's right after that. Yeah, because she had done the same thing here, dude. Like zero blood. Thank the Lord for that because I remember. You told him the story, and he's like, no, yeah. dude, we had the same thing happen. Let's go look for it. And sure yeah. enough, Luke's yeah. like, there's blood right there. Oh, I remember because yeah. you said it winced. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said, yeah. I said, you seen it wince? Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, no, it winced. Yeah. I was like, dude, we got to go look. Yeah, yeah no look. no kick, but a wince. It's like, all right, we're, we're done with the 243s, and it was laying behind that log. Because I walked to yeah. that. I mean, I was 10 yards away from it. Yep. It piled up behind a log. Mm-hmm. That was a cool day, man. That was yeah, a cool day. That was, then, yeah. we borrowed, was, then we borrowed the... Side by side to get it out of there. Oh, yeah, we had to winch that dude out of the drain. <laughs> yeah, you, ain't yeah. that you, ain't, you ain't carrying it, bro. No. I'm telling you. I also got that video on my phone of them, both me, them boys trying to drag that thing. I think they made it about eight yards <laughs> yeah. with it and shut it yeah, down. Yeah, Luke had like a bum knee, he like a blowed up. Oh, knee yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And see, we were we were on that other farm the first morning we were there, and he passes that, you know, 120 ish buck, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and that was it. That was our opportunity. That was it, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, <clears throat> hindsight, he's like, I should have shot that thing. It's like, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But it was day one, like first daylight. Yeah, know? yeah. It's tough like, to do. Something else is it's coming. tough to do on out of state hunt, like especially yeah. that spot, Lee, because you never know what's walking out. No, of there. you don't, dude. That, I had some crazy encounters there. Man. And that little farm he killed on wasn't really a great farm, but no. we got lucky. We, we had a, you know, obviously that morning our wind was actually blowing. We were probably, what, 40 yards off that cornfield? Yep. And our wind was blowing into the cornfield, and that buck walked. He I crossed your wind? He crossed our mm-hmm. wind, but I guess we were high enough up that blew all the top of him because he was coming right to us. Did like, you ever figure that out? Was it like a hot dough in there, you think? 
I mean, you had some buck had, activity. Didn't we you? hadn't. Yeah. There was a hot doe in there, yeah, but she came later. Like mm-hmm. really, know, after we were like kind of like, well, let's keep on hunting type deal. You know, see what else we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that so. would have been right around first of November, right? Mm, whenever you know, we used that, to that always. Was the youth. We, we were hunting public land. We always hunted. You know, we always went up bow season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went up youth season because it always seems to be the hot time. Yeah, yeah. There, like, yeah. That's when me and Joe are going back. By the way. Oh yeah, yeah. youth season. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the mm. we're leaving on Halloween. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And we'll stay two or three days. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're going nice. to Helton. Yeah. You know, who knows? There's other spots around there, too, man. There's like, I know. I told That's you that, that about. Bonanza. Like, if it, if it bails out, there's a couple little, what was the name of that one? There's yep. a little bitty one that I almost feel like nobody probably hunts too, too much. And the 40 acre one? Yeah. Yeah. So. I remember we went to that one, too. Yeah. Yeah. So and then there's Spayho. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. There's that one, too. So. Yeah. I didn't really care for that place. Yeah. It lays out really weird. But. Yeah. But now we're going to go up just because, and it was really shocking because Jody's like, dude, I want to go. Yeah, so that's cool. You want to go? I was you like, got, yeah. I was the, like, I'm, I'm up for an adventure, you yeah. know? Let's do it. I got a friend of mine, old Hatcher, he called me the other day like, dude, tell me about Northern Missouri. He's like, what do you want to know? And uh, he's like, well, I got a <clears throat> a client of mine or a customer of his that, uh, man, I need to get you up here and hunt some of my property over there. And he's uh, yeah, let's do it. So he's going at some point, so he was one. So he's got a private piece to go to? Yeah. Nice. Like, what do I need to prepare for? What do I need to do? And it's like, well, it lays out like this. You'll have a whole, whole, whole bunch of corn or a whole, whole bunch of beans. Hopefully it's cut by then, and then just get in the woods. Yeah, don't the only woods that's left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much where the deer yeah, are going to be. That's where they're going to be, and there'll it, be like cow trails in there. Yeah, get your and, wind in your favor and yeah. get after it. Yeah, that's pretty much the that's yeah. pretty much the game over there. And, mm-hmm. and when you have three days and no days to scout, Yep. You walk in, find a trail, get a good wind, and wait. Yep. That's pretty much all you can do. Yeah. Because if they're moving, they can be moving in that stick, that little strip of woods you're in, I can promise you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like you said, look at the leash you guys had, that little tiny one that mm-hmm. produced. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, yeah. when it's right, it's right. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. we went, when we first went up there, me and Larry went up there. Yeah, yeah. And we hunted for five days, I think. And on that fifth day, the cold front come in. The wind changed. It was like drizzling rain, 38 degrees. And yeah. there were bucks everywhere. Mm-hmm. We'd been there for five days. And oh, yeah. Not put, put anything together. And then it was like seven bucks in 30 minutes, you know, yeah. that kind of morning. So it's what you want as a hunter. Yeah. You know, it yeah, happens. We, we've definitely had some grinders up there because we went, what, by four different youth seasons, mm-hmm. yeah. public and private. And it's like cold, cold, cold. I bought him one of those, like, uh, what do they call heater body suits. I remember that, yeah. And he would zip himself all the way up in that thing, <laughs> and then I would take my harness strap and I would strap him to the trees in case he fell asleep. So we were hunting lone wolf, you know. I was like, he's a little kid, and like I'm gonna go ahead and just bungee cord him to the tree. That way, if he passes out, he don't fall out of the tree. You know? <laughs> sure enough, I almost did. Too. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I bet, I bet. I, we borrowed that. Yeah, yeah. You remember no, those? And, those things are legit, dude. Dude, I stuck Lexi in it because yeah. Lexi's like, I want to go. You know, she, she's killed yeah. several here, and yeah. it's like, all right, I'll take you. I was like, no, this is hunting now. Yeah. And she hiked that whole mile in and had yep. a, she, she had to carry a stand because I couldn't carry no more. Yeah. And she's like, I'm never doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> like almost ruined her. I'm right out. There. I'll out. never forget we were in Missouri and I think we were changing stands and we went walked through that bean field and we just got cut up. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, Dude, what yeah. are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Those beans, are bad. Yeah, they do have like some sharp edges yeah. and you got all the little sticky, prongy things. And, well, how yeah. about that? Was it, I don't know if he was with you when uh, I cut the corn trail down to the crossroads. Was he with you on that, or is that Joe? Yeah. It may have been Joe. I don't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, but I'd lost yeah, I lost my coat. I texted you, and I was like, "Yep, deer are using this trail now." I found it. Like, yeah, I don't remember if that was a youth hunt or not. We, I can't remember. Yeah. Me and me and, uh, me and Luke and Joe and Justin went one time, and we did that. We actually hocked in all their gear because they were coming a yep. day later, and we got them all set up. That was the bean field deal. Yeah, yeah, mm, it nice. Was like two mile, you know, mm-hmm. bean field before you can actually get to the strip of woods. They wanted their blind set up, you know, we'd all next to that and everything and figure out where they wanted to be. And then, yeah. Right there on that Creek. If I, if that's the one you're talking yep. about, I, yeah. I remember that one too. Well, it was, uh, you know, you remember that, let's see, it was almost all the way down. You have like a climber set up in there, like all the way down to the other side. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that's kind of where they, where they had set up at. But yeah, that place was I love that little that little hole, little spot. Even that spot where your brother killed his deer down there on that yeah. deal, like that. It's like such a great pinch point. Like man, if you yep yep if they're moving, they're moving. They're gonna be you know. And I started hunting the other side too, where you where you almost killed that big deer that yep. that field behind it. I got off in there and seen, seen several deer too. Like had the wind blowing back towards the creek and yeah uh, yeah. <clears throat> 
that man, it's, it was a blast up there, man. It yeah. really was. No, it, it's fun. It's yeah. work, but I mean, it's work. I mean, that's just it. That's what was cool about it. I mean, yeah. we talk about it. You guys had the experience and all the hiking and sure. failure. Oh yeah. And it's like Luke, you know, me and Luke went five years. Yeah. And I think it was year four yeah. before he killed a deer. Mm-hmm. And it was like <clears throat> mile in deep. He carried his own stand. He yeah. was little. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. you earned it, bro. Oh yeah. And it's like his favorite. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like you were saying, yep. it's like you're number one, man. Yeah. Cause Absolutely. you killed yourself to do it. Oh yeah. It's so rewarding when you do. Yeah. And that, yeah. That's awesome. That's an awesome thing. Now you put in work like that and sit that <clears> long. Cause most of the time, you know how I hunt. If I got to walk a river a long ways and the deer are moving, I'm not coming out till dark. Like I'm going to sit all yeah. day. And he would, he would say with me like, Oh, I know. I I've gotten out of the tree before and like taken a nap at the bottom of the tree, just so I have to walk all the way back to the truck and then climb back up in the tree and later. And <clears throat> uh, when I have my climber, I would just sleep in my climber. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting out. And you can get, you can get yeah, that's out. when you had your uh, pet turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Henrietta. <laughs> Henrietta. He was with me the first time yeah. we saw her, actually. Really? And I was like, yeah. dude, you can kill a turkey with your bow here. You want to. Like I had my bow with me, I think. So like yeah. you had a you season, I took my bow with Yeah, like we used to. Like, yeah. I, should, I should smoke this turkey and then. I think I went back the very next week and hunted that. And then like, she was there again, like just hanging out and chilling with me. Yeah. yeah was, she was literally, hanging dude, that out. was crazy. Even yeah. the juries put that up on. There. I remember. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that was a weird deal, man. Yeah. It's like, she was tame almost, man. Yeah. It's like, or she I mean, wanted, I got you, down I and went scout. I, well, I got down and went scouting from the kill tree. We called the kill tree. Cause it was like the one he killed, uh, mm-hmm. he killed two deer out of that thing. And, uh, but I walked down to that Creek and all the way around and, uh, to the, like kind of where we parked and she followed me the whole way up on top, followed me in the bean field, followed me the truck. And it was like, yeah, it's the weirdest deal ever, man. I, she wouldn't let me touch her. Like I, you saw the video. Yeah. I got about an inch from her. She's like, oh, no, no, thanks. Like, Don't put your hands on me, bro. All, but all but, yeah. I was like, yeah, that was a weird, weird deal. Well, that was crazy. And I almost shot her that day because I was wanting to kill a turkey with my bow. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it was a hand, you can kill whatever you want to in Missouri. And it's like, I smoke this thing like that would have been pretty sad yeah but that she would follow cool. me dude like when i would get out of the tree like she would roost like in one or two trees right next to me i go back the next morning she'd fly down and just hang out wow yeah it that's, was weird that is it crazy. was a weird deer weird <laughs> weird, weird deal man I yeah don't know. that's another one of the missouri trips man i mean it's just yeah. some cool stuff happened uh, we got sure. so many cool memories up there and it's like you know uh Toot Toots restaurant. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody had going, to eat at Toot Toots. Yeah, you know, like going there yeah. and eating. It's like, you know, these, it was just, you know, you go in there and do put in all that work and do all that stuff. And like, you know, let's go get a big old breakfast, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. it tastes so much better, you know, yeah. just after you, after you kill a deer or whatever. Well, that morning, <clears> it <throat> seems like y'all, but, you know, he had killed his deer and yeah. we got it out and it took us half the day or whatever. Oh, yeah. And none of us had eaten. Do you yeah. remember that? Yep. And I, I scrounged around in y'all's truck and found yeah. some kind of like energy bar or something. Cliff bars. It's like, dude, I got to eat something. Yeah, we, live, we live, <laughs> live off cliff bars and beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you survive. Yeah, don't don't buy the jalapeno beef jerky. Pro oh. tip, like you open that dude up, I think every deer in four <laughs> miles away, like, oh, man, I smell jalapeno. Yes. Like, don't buy that. Like, just get the regular beef jerky. Pro <laughs> tip, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think that that place was the first time I saw an Amish person riding horse. Oh, yeah. I was no. like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. 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 They, yeah. Got, they got parking spots at Walmart. And yeah, the little buggy signs. Yeah, yeah. There. That's for crazy. sure. Yeah, it's a different different world up there, too. A lot of good memories up there. Even turkey hunting, man. We even, Same thing, a little kid taking him. was like, man, we did. 14 miles yeah. a day like mm-hmm. trying to kill a turkey you know it's like mm. yep. Yep. it's a pretty cool state to hunt too I mean when you go you know I don't know if I should say this or not but if you go to Missouri and hunt even the public land you'll get really mad at uh, how well they a- take care of a- AGFC for mm. what we have here mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah I just uh, I just watched the podcast and they were interviewing the guy the director over the Missouri thing oh yeah and they're about the hunter dude they do whatever yeah. they can to get hunters there. Mm-hmm. Well, even the ours, ours don't necessarily. Do well, that. I mean, we've been approached by tons of game worms up there, and they even ask for your license. Like, have any luck? They just yeah. want to talk. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't, you know. Yeah. You do the same thing here. Like, where you been? What do you got? Let me smell your gun. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't know, I don't like all yeah. this stuff. I'm like, I have to dude, get you. chill out, man. Yeah. What, are we, what are you talking about here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now I can go down a whole rabbit trail on that. Oh uh, mm. yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I think I may still have some points. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got you get in trouble for like a hang on or ha- hanger. Oh, Tree, yeah. freaking, oh, limb, freaking limb saw. Limb saw. Okay, yeah. that's what it was. Jeez. Like six points and three hundred fifty bucks or something for having a limb saw in Damn my it. bow bag. Like, wow. What are we doing, man? Yeah, it's like and they I, pulled me over like I was like a drug kingpin, start ripping my car apart and everything else. Like what's what's happening here, boys? <laughs> oh, found it. It's got bark on it, and you must have cut down a tree. He's like, dude, 
No, I didn't. I, th- I didn't cut down anything. But <laughs> and so it goes. And so it goes. I won't. I won't mm. get. Don't get me. I won't get going on that. Well, do you want me to start on my deer camp? No, I won't. Start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It won't do no good. Yeah. No. It's let's, let's go and go back and revisit that stuff. So we we me and you went up on the turkey hunt. Yeah. And you guys had already been, right? We, yeah, we went the year before. Yeah. yeah. That's how I found the dude was on the internet. He come back and tell me he was going to the military. He's like, oh, we need to go to the woods and talk about this. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Tur- the turkey hunt up there. Yeah. Cause yeah. You, you had the truck picture. Yep. Remember? Oh, yeah. 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 So. yeah. so same farm. So, yeah. Same farm. Yeah. And I actually cost him his turkey because we had, I called two in, dude. It was like picture. Well, remember that morning? I mean, you started. Same thing. It was right there. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yep. Birds roost there. So we went in and, and set up and, uh, they were, see, yeah, they were roosted on that same spot. Mm-hmm. And then, so, and I did the whole fly down deal. And then I just, I don't really use it in here, here in Arkansas, but I started gobbling. And man, once I started hitting that gobble and they would gobble and I'd cut them off with the goblins. Like, oh, they're, they're, they're running. Up. They mm-hmm. are running at us. Like they ain't having none of this. I'd be hit, calling with the hen and gobbling and calling with the hen and gobbling. Like they were running to us. Well, my bird got hung up just by like five yards and we were hunting that hill. Yeah. So I couldn't see mine's head, and his was like seven yards from him. Oh, like, I had him. I was yeah. like, hold up, hold up. Wait one second. You called him second. off. Get, oh, wait one second. Wait one second. And a deer pops out to our right, spooks his bird, spooks my bird, and luckily mine kind of elevated enough, and I got a shot on it. But uh, Well, I'll tell you what it was, is that bird, yeah. It, and yeah. You knew what that meant. Yeah. And me being a little less experienced, <laughs> yeah. he goes, he just pops right up. Boom. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, my bird starts flying. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I better shoot him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't want to move because I couldn't see mine's head. It was like down below this little hill. We walked down that hill. Man, we were calling that bird across. Yeah, and yeah. We called him to those other hunters. We were right there on that. We couldn't go any further. And it's like, yeah, as soon as he... I've <laughs> been there, done that. Let, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Well, it's kind of like when me and him went, it was the same thing. It was like, dude, there's a bird gobbler right here, and he didn't hear it. It was like, he gobbled right here, like he's close, like, and there was nowhere to set up. Yeah. So we just scoot back in the woods, and he's like, you got your camera ready? You got your gun ready? You got, you know, like, all this stuff. It's like, oh, hang, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, man. I mean, he was freaking out. Like, I, got, so I got three seconds of footage, yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, we got it. We got it. Yeah. Well, it's really cool when you freeze frame it because I called in five gobblers Yeah. In, in that at video. one time. When was, it, when was this? When me and him went back the next season. Last It was this turkey yeah, season. This turkey huh. season. Yeah. He, he yeah. put the herd on a pile. <laughs> well, yeah. We, we, okay, we, I know, I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. We, we, were, we were on that same farm. We were filming... Uh, mine a little, a little interview and one one fires up um kind of where me and you were sitting but it was in that open field right by that, by that cedar tree but he was this he was this side of it kind of where i was trying to call that one in mm-hmm. i was telling him a story the other day on the phone it's like i'm deathly allergic to cedar trees and we were sitting there in that cedar tree and dude i was like <clears throat> doing this number you know i put a call in my mouth we had a bird working behind us kind of where years where, where years came from yeah and uh I'd put that call in and I'd start like trying not to cough. And I was like, mm, like dry heaving. He was over there chuckling at this. Like, dude, there's a bird coming right here. And that now was like a, crying. yeah, that was the one on that one podcast where I'm talking about the tick layer. Like, dude, we were like covered in 5,000 seed ticks on us. I don't know what the deal oh, was. Like, we sat down on a patch of them, but hmm. yeah. So we're doing the interview with, uh, with my Turkey mm-hmm. and one gobbles. And how, how far was that bird? 150 yards. At least, yeah. yeah. At least. I called him all the way across that field well, we got so excited. We get over there and he's got his camera set up and he looks back and I'm sitting, I'm calling from what, 15, 20 yards behind him. Mm-hmm. I'm behind a tree so I can't bust him at all. And he's like, I don't have a gun. I left my gun laying <laughs> oh, no. where he had killed his bird. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Then, so I was like, give me your gun. Yeah. So I'm, I'm belly, <laughs> well, I'm belly calling over to him and giving him my gun. And I was like, yeah, it was, it was crazy, dude. But it, it, he worked all the way over there. It was awesome. It was a fun hunt. Yeah. Worked him all the way to yeah. what, 15 yards yep. probably when he killed him. Yep. Yeah. Right off camera, of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Never fails. But and we were sitting there in that, uh, in that little tree. And uh, I, I tell you what, those, when those hens get to yelping like that, yeah. they'll do that squeal. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is the coolest thing yeah. ever. 
It's, turkey hunting's bad, dude. Like it's, yeah, it's fun. It's so fun. I, I always say this thing: I'd rather kill a deer, but I'd rather hunt a turkey. Yeah, turkey yeah. hunting's a blast. Yeah, I That's think it. I'm a little immature in that, as a sense of like duck hunting's my it's my thing. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's all you get all your guys together, and you can, yeah, you can quite literally just have a full blown conversation. Yeah, that's eat. a good thing about duck hunting. The few yeah. times I've been, it's like you don't have to worry about the well, you have to worry about the wind on your setup a yeah. little bit, but I mean not as far as like scent goes or yeah. anything like that. You yeah. sit there and chit chat. Yeah, it's got so big though. <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty rough in Arkansas unless you have some private property saturated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you get a big freeze like we had two years ago. Was that two years ago or last mm. year? It was two years ago. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the big buck, big buck freeze. Yep. Around, big buck freeze, yeah. Right around. I think we had one in November and December that yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whichever one got to negative 14 <clears throat> was, that was the most birds I've ever seen mm-hmm. in my life. They're, yeah. fl- they're flying in like 50s. Yeah. And in Arkansas, you get maybe two or threes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Unless you go to Stuttgart. Unless you go to Stuttgart. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, what there's uh, Oklahoma's the best kept secret around. Uh-huh. Really? Yep. You know, I know a bunch of dudes that. That duck hunt in Oklahoma, yeah. and they'll say they'll tell you the same thing. Like, yep. and I think they just raised their license prices up probably for that reason. Yeah, they're figuring it out. Dude, it's it's yeah. rough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that the other day. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe they're charging that to hunt Oklahoma, but I bet it's because of ducks. Probably oh, is. yeah, probably is. Yes, I got some big bucks too, man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, they do. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's starting to take shape over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that's how I got into duck hunting was uh, one of my Sherwin Williams reps, he has a cabin. Um, on all those oxbows over there in Stuttgart, and so that was my first time ever. Shoe in, yeah. He, first time ever duck hunting. You, you hit it rough, like, didn't you? Well, when you go over there, there's like five <laughs> layers of ducks. So it'll be like layer down here, layer up here, and then way up there is another one. You see geese way over here, and the sky is just constantly black. And you you're out there for like an hour and a half, and you limit out. And like so I'm telling Nothing my, my buddies, like, dude, we got to start duck hunting. So we get we get some gear, do this, do that, and like. Wake up at two o'clock. We're up putting the boat in the river at like three thirty in the morning, and like get shined off like five different islands that we had already like knew we were going to go to. Out. Like, no, mm-hmm. oh, these dudes are living out here. They're spending the night mm-hmm. to kill these ducks. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like, I'd rather crow hunt. And <laughs> I refuse to go because yeah. I know I would love it. Yeah, yeah. I refuse. Yes. I'm not going. Well, that was another one of those talking about a little kid story. We so we found a. Uh, an old farmer that was right off the river and I found it on Onyx and we just started door knocking and he had two ponds, a lower one down here low and an upper one. And I took him probably your first duck hunt ever. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And, uh, put him in a lay down blind with a sleeping bag. I mean, it was cold. We had to like break ice and all that stuff. And, uh, I still got those pictures. Yeah. You were probably six yeah. maybe mm-hmm. early. Yeah. So we would yeah. kind of wing him and he'd, he'd pin him down. He'd pin him down with his 20 gauge after that, which, Back then, back then he didn't like the twenty gauge too much. It, it, yeah, it had a little kick to it, a little wallop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I got pictures of him out there. I remember we had to break away for a minute. Let's go to the truck, dude. Like he was, hey, like, dude, it was free. Hypothermia. Yeah, can't, can't feel my feet. What yeah. should I do? I was like, all right, we better. I don't want to. I don't want to cost you your your, uh, your feet. So <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to the truck and warm up for a minute. But that was a good morning. I think we killed probably ten or twelve duck between all of us and like two geese. I think that day, and that was one of those like it's cold, cold, yeah. cold. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about Missouri. Yeah. Dude, I think back to what you did to him and what I did to my boy. <laughs> Dude, it would be, it worked, you know, it worked out. Yeah. It'd be yeah. 18 and, you know, with 20 mile an hour wind. Oh, yeah. And we were in there 45 minutes before daylight. Yeah. And I just, I remember looking at Luke and he would just be like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He would never say nothing. He yeah. learned, you yeah. know, he's quiet, but yeah. he, he was for reason. Yeah. And we had everything we owned on. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Was like, Give me all of it. Yeah. yeah. I can just see I got everything, everything on, but yeah. When something like that and you have success, man, it's like, this was the best day of my life. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't feel cold anymore. Nah, no. it's yeah. all gone after that. <laughs> Heck yeah. You start shaking for a different reason. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. Adrenaline. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. no joke. Like, Yeah. I have to keep thinking about that buck I killed. It's like we were talking about it on the last podcast. I'm like, <clears throat> he's 80 yards away walking towards me and, uh. I can't like I can't look him in the eyes like I can't I can't look mm. at him anymore. Man, mm-hmm. I, I can't mm-hmm. I can't do it. Like mm-hmm. I gotta look away, and it's yep. it's freaking me out. Or I'm standing by standing behind the blind or whatever. And it's like then after after it's all over with, then you have a whole other panic. Like, did I shoot over him? Did I shoot under him? Did mm-hmm. I miss? Did I shoot high? Did I, mm-hmm. Like all these, you yep. know, your mind starts racing. It's like I don't know if anything else in life like does that to I, you. I know, I know. I had that big nine that I missed yeah. here. Yeah, you know he was a. a Big buck for us. Sure. And I had to watch him come yeah. the whole way, and I'm videoing Oh, yeah, him. yeah, yeah. 
and he gets up there and, you know, he's like 20 something yards, but he's facing me straight on, you know, yeah. and it's like, he starts throwing his head up. Mm. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, you know, what's fixing to come. Yeah. yeah. He's backpedaling. <laughs> oh crap. He's leaving. He's leaving. And he, he kind of skirted around me and I just, I panicked, dude. Yeah. I just shot over him. Yeah. Mm. And it's cause he, you know, he was leaving and he was not mm. in the frame and, uh, oh yeah. And he gets shot by the neighbor. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, so, I remember that. Yeah, that was shot, that was a hard one to take. Shot ish, shot ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was never recovered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he never came back. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I can't remember seeing that footage, but I was like, now nah, I remember the deer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just like you know, <clears throat> that's the cool thing about deer hunting for me. Yeah, I get it on the duck stuff. Duck stuff's camaraderie, your fellas, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, all yeah. of that. And just pulling the trigger. Yeah, I'd, I'd be about it. Oh yeah, I uh, know I would. So I'm like, hey man, you want to start ducking? No. Yeah. Because I'm like, I want to deer hunt, like serious with all of my might. Because if I yeah. took up duck hunting or even bird hunting of any mm -hmm. kind, yeah. I think I would love it. So yeah. I, I can away. tell you, yeah, I can tell you like crow hunting's way cheaper and it's just as fun. <laughs> and it's way faster, dude. Me and him go out there. We There's used plenty do, of them too. We used to do it a bunch. You can fire up the crow call. You're going to kill six within probably like eight minutes. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Right. You flip it on. If your camouflage is good, you're going to smoke them. You ever killed a banded crow? Have not. That would be crazy. <laughs> no, but I can tell you that very same pond that we duck hunted, we used to duck hunt till 10 or 11, and then when I'd go set up the crow call and move spots, and uh, I got a picture somewhere on my phone. We have a pile of crows. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. A pile. I can imagine, dude. We had some funny stories. Lucky seven. Yeah. The bird that we shot probably 12 times and yeah. had maybe. I had like no feathers <laughs> yeah. left. Right. It was still he was like, still alive. He was still coming. Every time yeah. turn on call, he'd come back. He's like, there's old Lucky. Like, coming by here is like, I don't know how he's still airborne. <laughs> yeah, he's flying with three feathers on one side. <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a crow story. So since you thought you just made me remember that, yeah. me and Dad are sitting in what we called the condo, which was the first big built stand we had on this property. Yeah, before the house was here or anything. I think I saw that one. Yeah, and uh, we're sitting there, and the evening or the morning had rocked on, gotten late, like eleven o'clock, whatever. And I was like, well, I guess we need to get out of here. And I was like, you see that crow down there? And it was like one hundred fifty yards away, two seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think I can hit that crow? And Dad's like, no. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the crow. You yeah. Know? And then I pulled down and I, boom, and that sucker just you know blew up in the air. He got about thirty feet in the air and stoned. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know where I hit him or yeah. if it was the shock or what. But yeah. To this day, I remember that shot. Yeah, maybe you, you whizzed one by his head and <laughs> he blew off his equilibrium or Dude, something. Died like. of a heart attack or yeah. something. I don't know, but. Anyway. I have a story, a similar story like that with a 22 Magnum I was carrying one time. Really? Me and my buddies were out there and it's like, look at that crow way out there in that corner, in that, in that pasture. You think I can kill it? No. And it was like, Pew. ah, you missed. And like, finally the bullet gets there. <laughs> bird falls Stoned out. Stoned him. Like, Got him. <laughs> I don't remember what we bet, but it was something and I won. Yeah, you won. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's the kind of stuff you remember though, man. Oh yeah. It sticks with you forever. Well, outdoor, those hunts and yeah. that stuff. I mean. Just got outdoors in general, yeah. man. It's like. Dude, I, it, I, there's so many. Like I was talking about with the deer. It's like whatever I said in the last podcast, 60 something hours on my tractor, all the prep, all the thought, you know, thinking about this, thinking about that for 10, 15, seconds. 10, 15 seconds, yeah. maybe if you're lucky, you have a chance yep. to kill. Yes. You know, obviously duck hunting's different, but you're still a lot of preparation. He would send me pictures of. Oh, you what know, you could duck hunters scouting, go through, dude. Scouting, scouting would, before work and everything yeah, else. We would sleep out there oh, in the yes. morning because how many people would come out there? Yeah. You take some NyQuil to yeah. go lay up on the bank. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. You wake up the next morning like, man, I'm still tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would do it as much as we could. You're waking up at 3 o'clock to get out there. Yeah. Mm. Well, if you're going to put in the work and do it right, you know. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, everybody what, wants to win, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's the goal. That's the way we always did it when he was hunting with me. Yeah. You know, just keep on. Full tilt boogie? Oh, we're that's going, what my buddy used to say. We're going all in. This is, <laughs> I mean, we drove all the way to Missouri for it. We ain't sleeping in. We ain't taking a break. We're moving. We ain't playing the win. We're doing it. We're yep. doing it the right way. So. Dang. Same thing with the land management and everything else in life. Yeah, right. I mean, I, and the thing mm -hmm. is, man, it's just what you enjoy in life. Yeah. You really start to appreciate. Oh, yeah. The harder you work at it, yeah. it's just, it carries you. It does me, man. It's like, I don't really know that a day don't go by that I'm not thinking of some kind of land management oh, or hunting right, right. or something. Always, yeah. It's in my blood. Yeah. It's like part of me. Well, it's like he was always that kid. I'm talking like at two and a half, three, you know, be outside cutting the grass. He's over there doing something. You shut off the mower and like, hey, where's my, where's my kid at? He's 200 <laughs> yards in the wood. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like you see the draw and yeah. you know he was raised a certain way climbing trees we're in the woods yeah. we're hunting we're doing work hey this is how we're gonna do this boom 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 yeah and then the draw back to that he can tell you is huge because he's stuck in you know everybody wants to go to the beach right but it's like 
only for a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, we, we would go on vacation to Florida, and you give me three days, and I'm like, hey. Let's go home. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. making that transition from being home <laughs> and it was all the time to being gone for seven months, I mean, yeah. I, I still, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like, I tell my wife this all the time, it's like, I feel so calm set up in a tree and, you know, you and I are both set up the same way. We don't hunt mornings a whole lot. It's, you know, there's certain times of year for that. But one of my favorite things is getting in a tree an hour before daylight, daylight mm-hmm. and just watching God's mm-hmm. creatures come to life oh, and man. the sun rising. And like, same thing on duck hunting, I'm Dude. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you see that. You see the sunrise and it's, you got the freaking water there and dude yeah. you got birds flying and you can't shoot them yet yeah but they're making noise yeah, don't do that don't do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> can't spill that's all a, my that's secrets a, that's a federal, <laughs> federal offense <laughs> yeah. yeah see mine goes back to I have that same thing it's like since i was young we go to deer camp and that was our big hunting time yeah and your morning sunrise with like you know the the frost coming yeah, up and yeah. just sunlight coming through it's like this is like painted by God. Yeah, know? yeah. You just feel, that's, sh- what I, that's what I tell the wife. Yeah. It's like, you need, to go, you need to go sit with me one morning. Just mm-hmm. walk, I'll turn you on, put you in the heat, heated blind, and just, and just go watch. And like watch the animals interact with each other, watch the sun come up. And like. Yeah. There's more to know, it. There's more a, to it than what no. people think. Oh, 100%. It's, it's not about dude. killing, man. It's yeah. about the whole experience. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. I was awesome. out. Late last night till about three o'clock last night, just listening to crickets. Yeah, looking yeah. At stars because <laughs> yeah. in California you don't get to see stars. Yeah, you don't talking, get to hear crickets. Oh man, he was talking about the cicadas. I was like, well, they're kind of fading away. You may hear some. They're not. They're not deafening like they normally are oh, yeah. these cooler yeah. nights. But. Yeah, yeah. Hard to beat the woods, man. No, it is. I'm telling like, you, you, you. Like I said, I don't really take it for granted. But then sitting there talking to him last night and realizing. Putting myself in his shoes and mm-hmm. like, dude, I would go crazy. Yeah, it takes a lot of um, patience and yeah, stepping back and being like, hey, this is my purpose. This yeah. is why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or else I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. go back home. Yeah. <laughs> so what? So what's next for you, bud? What's 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 coming up? So um, I had a little knee injury. Uh, I got rolled back. No, so I'll class back up here in a little bit and. Uh, We'll get back right back after it. Just getting back yep. into it. Yep. So is that coming up pretty quick? Or? Yep. November fourth. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. Get back after it. Yeah. I bet. I bet. Yeah. It's okay. a. That's a commendable it's, thing, dude. Yep. It's straight up. It is. It's a, it, ment- it's a mental battle at this mm-hmm. point, right? It's yeah. like because when it first happened, he was kind of okay with it, and then <clears throat> later on, it was like he wasn't okay with it. So, uh, you know, being the great father I am, I say, <laughs> uh, if they told you it's going to take three years to do what you want to do, would you do it? Yeah, I would. Then, then shut up. Yep. Yeah. Right. It's kind of, <laughs> with more explicit words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's what I need. It's what yeah. I, it's honestly what you got to hear. You got to yeah. hear the truth. Yeah. And, yeah. So well, that's kind of our, our our relationship forever. It's like, oh, yeah. You know, never treated him as my friend. Yeah. But, you know, we were friends, but sure. I never treated him that way. Like, here's what we're doing. Yeah. And this is how hard. we're going to do it. It'll be hard. That's it. And yeah. Like, you know, the results are the results are the results. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, uh, because I talked to him all the time about even like all the years of travel baseball, and I I, co- I was fortunate to coach him in everything: basketball, football, baseball, travel baseball, all that stuff. And you know, it's like you kind of, as a father, you're like, dude, did I make a mistake? You know, keeping us, you know, out of the woods a lot. Travel baseball is like absolutely not. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I need yeah. that's something I needed here. Like, I think I did, I did, I did okay. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, as many times as you were hard on me, like. Where would I be right now? At a freaking cupcake or something? You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's commendable what you're doing, yeah. what you're going for, and it's yeah. commendable how you raised him to do Absolutely. it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It took you both, obviously. Yep. It's well, pretty cool, man. When I was, I wasn't really trying to talk him out of it at turkey camp, mm-hmm. but I wanted to know, hey, well, I mean, what are we, why are we doing this? Like, what's yeah. going on? What's your goal? Because like, yeah. he had a different set of goals, you know, where we're going to sure. start doing houses together and all that stuff. So <clears throat> um, it was kind of, that's basically what he says, like, it's your fault. Yeah. It's your fault. Yeah. yeah, Dad. I mean, it's it's just your fault. I want to do this. And it was like, you know, on and on with all that stuff. I'm like, okay, well, thanks a lot for that. But, you know, it, yeah, I don't know. It's just something you got to go after, man. Well, yeah. the thing he told me was, and then here's when I started, I wanted to start my own business. And everybody's like, don't do it. You got a good job. Don't mm-hmm. do it. Don't do it. It's like, man, it's inside of me. If I feel like if I don't try this, I'm going to regret it forever. Yeah. He spun that around on me and said the same thing. I was like, "All right, let's go turkey hunt then. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Go do what you got to do." Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's got to do it for you. Absolutely. And I tell you what, like just growing up in the woods and you grow up in an environment with you know being stealthy and yeah. you know the, the enjoying <laughs> the hunt. Um, I mean, that's all you want to do is be in the woods. 
Yeah. And so, you know, sooner or later down the road, that's where I'll get to be. But yeah, I mean, just how you grow up and then the friends you hang around with, it's just like, man, this is, you know, I, I hang around with people who are very tough and very mature for their age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's a rough and rounded crowd. I'll tell yeah. you that. But uh, <laughs> every single one of them could go into the military and crush it and yeah. tear it up. Yeah. 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 And I just know if, if something did pop off, that's what I was telling him last night. Something popped off, you know, I would be in the same position I am right now, just a little later. Yeah. yeah I would have to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get yeah, that. You know, there's a lot. That's what after 9-11, there's like the recruitment went up like, what, 80% or yeah. something like that because, mm-hmm. you know, the, the dudes are the dudes, right? Mm-hmm. It's like. Yeah. And yep. I think everybody felt that pull. Like, oh, you know. Yeah. Is most everybody patriots? I mean, true patriots? Dude. Yeah. yeah, it's It's figured, changing. It's I, changing. I figured it was. I mean, for the yeah. most part. Yeah. And the group, in the tight knit group that I'm in, it's it's very patriotic. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's flying I, eagles everywhere. I don't know about yeah. you, but that's who I want for, oh, for my yeah, country. 100%. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Those those are the guys. Yeah. Well, you know, they talk about our military, our recruitment's down and all that stuff. But like, we went to a boot camp and a man, uh, Chicago. No, yeah, Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great Lakes. And uh, a lot of young kids in there. Now, not all of them are going to be, you know, Killers. There's some mm-hmm. computer programmers sure, in there sure. when you see them walking around. Like, yeah, yeah. what is this guy doing, man? <laughs> but, you know, free free education and all that stuff. But yeah, it gives you a lot of hope. I mean, I got to meet one of his his one of his buddies, and then uh, we went to California. I got to meet another one. Just great, humble. I mean, humble, humble kids. You know, and I call them kids or not, but I mean, they are to us. Yeah, they are. Oh, we're kids. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like to, to see that many people putting themselves what he's putting himself through at yeah. the age that they're doing. It, it's like commendable. It's pretty crazy, yeah. dude. Like they're still out there. You know what I mean? That's they're awesome. still out there because I worry a lot about, you know, I don't worry about kids nowadays. I worry about parents nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like you see so no many doubt. soft, soft, soft parents. Yes. It's like, what are we, what are we going to be like in 10 years? Yeah. Like, you know, mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Yeah. I tell you what, when the Lord calls you to do something and, I mean, it just lays heavy on your chest, just like y'all, you know, yeah. you take deer. You couldn't live without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's something you got to do, man. It's something you got to do. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like business owners, you know, it's like yeah. same deal. It's like, yeah, we're both walking out on jobs, not, not too many years apart. I think I went first, took the leap first, but you yeah. weren't far Yeah, behind. I came to you and said, dude, what do I do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Start your own business. That's yeah. what I'm, I'm going out on my own. You know, live, yeah. my, live my misery. <laughs> yeah. This is what take, this is what's going to happen. And, and the thing is, man, I think it's just what you said. God's got our, a plan for us all. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. And you feel it. When you feel it, yep. yeah. you got to go, man. Yeah. That's yeah, and, awesome. And even when I, I got hurt, and, you know, I'm just like, man, is this what I'm supposed to do? And it took yeah. about sure. 30 minutes, and he comes rolling around the corner. He's like, dude, let's get this figured out. And yeah. I went to outside and got some help and yeah. got it strengthened. I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's Pops is there, man. That's what Pops yep. is for. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah. yeah. Step one, step two, step three. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm telling you, at, at some point, you go from – hunting in the stand all the time and to, you know, I'm living in California and he's in, he's in Arkansas, man. It, yeah. Tell you all y'all dads out there, you gotta, gotta take your kids hunting. It, oh, it yeah. changes your life. Yeah. Say, every, every single way. All the time. Hunting, yeah, hunting, yeah. hunting sports, right? Yep. 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 It, it's time with the kids, man. Yep. Yeah. You know, and it's, I mean, look at it, look what it's turned into for you guys. Look right. at y'all's relationship. Yep. What well, kind of man you're going to be? Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's the are. push. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's the push. Like, yeah. No, no, no slack. I don't care if you're five and you weigh 45 pounds. Put that stand on your back and let's go. Yeah, yeah. Tough <laughs> that, man. What's wrong with you? You're I mean, cold? But, Come on. Man. But, I mean, yeah. you think about how hard life is. We both know. we're. I'm yep. 40, he's 47. I'm 51. We've both been through some Tough stuff, stuff, you know. But yeah. it's mm-hmm. like, had we not be prepared for that or had the mental aptitude, same thing right. that you're going yeah. through. It's yeah. like, yeah. what are you going to do? I mean, yep. are you going to quit? Are you going to start exactly. start drinking? Are you going to, you know, be disabled and yep. not work? Or, I mean, Live off the government? Yeah. What are you yeah. going to do? What yeah. are you going to do? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You, you, especially with when you're put up, I'm sorry, with your when you're tasked with such a difficult job, I mean, the percentage of <laughs> me making it is very slim to none. And yeah. You can really talk yourself out of it. Sure. or you can talk yourself into it. Yeah. And yeah. that's what some people don't understand is you can talk yourself into almost anything you want. Sure. I agree with that. And vice versa. Right. Yeah. yeah. You can talk yourself right depends on how mm-hmm. It depends on how weak-minded you are. You yeah. Know, that's the thing about it. It's like yep. you get a strong-minded individual, it, you're not going to hold me down. That's it. Right. Period. I'm doing right. it. Well, ever since I've known you, and you too, for that yeah. matter, this kid's had a go button. That's oh, all yeah. he's ever known is yeah. go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. So I've always, I've always thought that was really cool. Yeah. Because 
you know, some, some of you people have that and some people don't. Oh yeah. Right. No question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you've had it. I mean, yeah. you've been that kid. It's like, Oh yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Oh, we're done practicing. I'm going to go hit some in the backyard. Like yeah. what? Yeah. You know? that's, that's what I was talking to him about last night, <clears throat> even with y'all and deer hunting fear, you know, yeah, you can use it to let it crumble you or you can mm-hmm. absolutely turn up the notch and yeah. let it drive you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah we had that that's discussion cool. last night yeah. out by the pool to something they were talking. It's like, I use it as fuel for me to, you know, start my own deal. It's like, it wasn't, it wasn't crippling. It was motivation. Yeah. Because yeah. guess what? People say, don't do it, man. It's really, really hard. I'm in. Yeah. 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 You're saying it's hard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Lock it down. Yeah. Lock it down. You know, and I, there's something that I've heard. And it's like some, some people like hard people, they don't want to always live the hard life, yeah. you know, yeah. but it's what we're called to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's what we have yeah. to do because without struggle, we, what are we? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. No, you're exactly right there. That's, that's it. That's it's it. kind of like oh. the, uh, me and another buddy was talking the other day about the dumping the corn out on the lease over there. And it's like 50 pounds in a backpack and mile and a half in to pour corn out. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do that Saturday morning. Like, yep. Are you, are you really? He's like, yeah, I'm going up. I'm like, I got my, my toes not still, it's not as broke. It's not as broke as it was. I'm going, I'm going in like, uh, hey, hit me some ice. I'm going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. So yeah, I mean, I'm with you, man. It's like strong minded people do, do great things. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I man, I uh, I wish you the best on this venture. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna need it for sure. It's gonna be a, yeah. Every single day is gonna be a battle. Well, yeah, no if what. I know a guy that can do it, man, it's you. I appreciate you know I mean? that. Yep. It, it's I, you, and you, your dad's had your back yep. all the way. Absolutely, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm so thankful for the 100 for the people that are surrounded, uh, yeah. uh, surround me. So, heck yeah. yeah well, he got he's got some good buddies, and I'm only uh, you know. Sometimes like, he had to go to an island here a while back, and it was like no comms for like a week or so. So I was just like sending him text messages when he opened up his phone. He would have them as motivational, yeah, yeah, motivational yeah. deals. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that did that. I, yeah. that. I do that to Luke all the time. Yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. dude. Here's what you got to do. Yeah, we need it. We we really do. We may, you know, I don't call him all the time because I'm in yeah. my own groove. He's yeah, yeah. in his, but I mean, we need it just as much as you you think. Well, we would. we've yeah. always had that relationship to where, you know. I don't have to know where he's at, what he's doing all the time, right. but I'm a phone call away. And sometimes I'll, if I need to talk to him, I will. Yeah. But it's like I try to, I'm kind of, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm yeah. a, I'm a let him be a man type deal. And that's yeah. kind of our relationship now. But it's like anytime he calls or I've always got advice. Yep. For sure. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> that's, that's our job, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. When, it's you're coming. Thir- when you're 13, 14, 15, you're like, I don't need your freaking advice. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you yeah. telling me this? Why are you yeah. telling me this? Yeah. This is not your what my buddies is, are telling yeah. me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. You're, your advice is rough and rugged. I don't want that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly. too grab. Your voice yeah. is too grabby. <laughs> yep. So my overall advice on the day would be get in the woods. That's yep. yeah. Get your kids in the woods. Yeah. Um, push your kids to do great things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It it means the world when uh you have a good father figure who also preaches the Lord in the woods and mm-hmm. you know tells you what's right and wrong in there. We've had many two-hour conversations Some about... Some of the best, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the woods is the best place to have yeah. it. Oh, for Guarantee. sure. Yeah. Guarantee. Yeah. And I'm sure yeah. you've had just as many, sure. you know. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's and, and two, that bond, when you get back in the woods together, yeah. comes right back. Oh, yep. that's what we were talking it's about like that last like you never night. lost it, yep. you know. I guess like, it's going to come full circle. He's going to come back in for Christmas. Hopefully, I got a big buck for yeah. him. We're going to hunt together. That'd and be awesome. Stuff like that. And then, you know, kind of told him, I took him out last night to the old food plot. <clears throat> and uh, showed him the stand he killed his first book out of. I cleared all area out, but I left that stand on the tree just because, like, dude, I'll be dead and gone. You can run out here and show your boy. Yep. Yep. Killed my first deer. Yep. Killed my first deer out of this stand, and he's going to be like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll <laughs> tell a, you what. That's there's... a $78 Kmart stand. <laughs> yeah. about? Yeah, there's Whatever something works. about sitting in the woods all day and then going and watching some Arkansas football. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it. That's Can't a pretty good it. combination yep. there, man. Yeah. We used to do it tons, man. It's like when the little cafe was open, it's like hunt till 11, go eat a late breakfast, and then go back back and watch football like, mm-hmm. man, this is what a day pretty yeah. good routine yeah. man. Beat Guarantee it. You. what Guarantee. a day what a day well man thanks for coming in dude absolutely i enjoyed it good to see it. you man yep, absolutely good to see you yep. glad he's in good town, to be back sure. man it's it good to breathe some arkansas weather it yeah was a, i bet it was a huge surprise for us we were actually sitting outside Dad by, was the, fire, by the fire pit and he rolled up so <laughs> that's awesome Good stuff, and he was already hit me up about being on the podcast while he was supposedly in California. So, well, he uh, helped us uh, quit dragging our feet. Yeah, yeah. Dragging our feet. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I called you. Food last plots night. and stuff like, getting in the way, you know. Yeah. Deer hunting. <laughs> I, <laughs> Who cares about that? Yeah, we got time for that. I called him last night and said, "Dude, 
Luke's in town. What? Yeah. Can we get him on a podcast tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Put yeah. it together. So we come down here this morning, <laughs> put it all together. Yeah, and he's man, been really. carrying furniture and all yeah. kinds of stuff. It's awesome. Ramble he's going to be paying for it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> probably right. Yeah, probably, probably, yeah. probably right. Well, guys, I want to thank y'all for listening today. I appreciate you. Yep. yep. Bye, bye, everybody. See ya.